Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I am playing and demoing and reviewing for you the new Kongsheng Solist Harmonica. I've been sent one of these and I thought I'd give it a little go. It's in the key of G, which is kind of nice for me. I like playing those low chords. So I'm going to give you my kind of initial thoughts on this harp. I think it is retailing somewhere between $50 and $70. So I think they must be pitching themselves at the kind of mid, well, the mid market, sli slightly higher than, uh, say, a Special 20 or Marine Band uh, tends to retail for. Um, they're not actually, I don't think they're stocked over here in the UK yet. I think there's some US stockists. This was sent direct from their factory in China to me. I don't know if they're available here yet, but they Im I imagine they will be soon. Recently, there's been an explosion of kind of new ideas with harmonica and new companies coming out. So what I've got here is a fully metal harmonica. So obviously the cover plates are stainless steel as they tend to be. The reeds are brass, I think, and then the comb is aluminium. So it's quite a heavy harp to hold and to be honest, for me, I, I kind of like a light harmonica. It, it sort of scares me a bit that, it, that it's so heavy. But if that works for you, you know, it, it, it's got that kind of heavy feel to it. Suzuki harps I've played feel similar in terms of their weight. So it's you know you're holding something, which is, you know, you've got a sturdy kind of instrument in your hand. But for me, it, it's quite cold to the tongue. When, when you play it, it's um, quite kind of cold. I'm used to the, the warmth of wood or, or plastic still doesn't have that same kind of chill to it that, that metal has. So I've got a key of G, so I've been playing along with those lower chords, kind of enjoying them. The chords for me, they sound pretty cheer pretty true. They're, they feel, you know what's strange? It's a heavy harmonica, the chords feel light in, in a strange way. They feel, they don't feel like I'm really digging into the reeds. It's, it's kind of a strange feeling. I've actually found, it's been nice having a lower harmonica because I've been able to explore the top end and I really like the blow bends. I just find them really easy. No squeaking on that top note. Hold 10 is notorious for giving you this squeaky kind of squeal when you go to the blow bend, but I'm not getting it with this. I feel like I could play them all day and they'd be great. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that because a lot of harmonicas, I mean, I play a lot of special 20s and a lot of the time the top end is really difficult to get kind of a squeals free uh, blow bend without tinkering with the harmonica, doing some work on the harmonica. So it's nice that an out of the box harmonica gets that at the top end. Generally throughout, I think the mid range feels quite light as well, a bit like the lower end. And the octaves sound good. I really like the sound of those octaves. They're well tuned. And uh, again, this has come all the way from China and it's come in uh, good condition and the, the octaves are sounding in tune to me. I like the way they, they come out. They're, they're, they're kind of ringing out true, which is nice as well. Chords to me feel quite light. I think they sound okay, but I think the harmonica is mainly aimed at playing folk songs. I mean, it's called a folk harp, so we've got soloist folk harp written on the front. That kind of maybe is, I mean, I'm a blues player really, but maybe it's aimed more at the first position kind of uh, melodic stuff. Um, <laughs> It 
kind of works really nicely for those. Uh, maybe Irish music as well. Kind of works nicely for that. I uh, find it easy to pick out the notes, which is nice. The bends just feel a bit weird for me. I like to feel closer. I feel like there's a distance between me and the reeds when I'm bending them. It's hard to describe it without sounding abstract and very strange. There's that distance. Um, they feel kind of almost tight, which is strange because the top end, they're so easy, the blow bends, I really like them. I kind of like the top end of this combined with the lower end of a special 20, which would, I think that would be nice. I am, by the way, sneaky little peek of the future. I think I'm gonna get Sugarcane Hamilton to customize one of these for me. So I think I'll talk to him about hopefully getting those bends to my liking. Uh, it might be something to do with, we've got written here, Supra Flex Reed. So I'd like to know more about that. If you know more, please let me know in the comments. If you know anything about the way they create their reeds or what they do to get them to be the way they are, then I'd be interested to know more about that. So initial impressions then, plays nicely in terms of melodies, octaves are really sweet, blow bends are gorgeous, it's just the kind of feel of the metal harmonica, the comb, which doesn't kind of do it for me, and the draw bends, there's something kind of a little bit iffy for me, just for my own playing. Let me know your thoughts. Have you got one of these? Have you tried one? Do let me know what you think. Put your comments beneath the video. You can also email contact at learntheharmonica.com and you can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So just search for Learn The Harmonica on those social media sites. Thank you to Kong Sheng for giving me one of these and thank you to you for watching. I hope this has been useful and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.